I'm not with nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me I like me better when I wasn't yours I'm going back, I'm going back I'm going back, I'm going I'm going back, I'm going I'm going back to who I was before I like me better Wednesday, July 27th. I just wanted to make a really quick intro. As you guys can see, I'm about to record some content. It's been a long time since I recorded content and I have two hours, so I'm hoping to knock at least two videos out. Fingers crossed if I can knock a three out and a TikTok. Okay, um, I do have an eyelash appointment at 12. It was originally yesterday, but as you guys saw in a few clips before, Bay um, took me to brunch, girl with the bottomless mimosas, and who can cancel on that? So we went to brunch, and then we also went to go see Black Phone. It is like a horror movie. Real quick, 3.5. It wasn't like all that, but it wasn't bad at the same time, and me and Bay agreed on the rating, so... We were going to go see Nope. Maybe we'll go um, next weekend or something because there is a few good movies out that he said he wanted to see. So maybe we'll go next weekend. Ouch, I just hit my elbow. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get started, girl. It's 9.39 and I need to be out the house by 11.30 so I can go get my lashes done because I do work tonight. So we're on a time schedule. Early bird gets the worm. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, you guys, so I'm headed to, to my lash appointment. It's 11.49. I got two videos recorded. Um, no TikTok, unfortunately. Tell me why my daggone electricity went out. It went out and came back on, thank God. Like, literally, <laughs> while it was out, I was praying. I was like, Lord, please let these lights I'm back on because what am I going to do like I can see if I didn't even start the next video I would have just easily opened up my curtains and um recorded with natural light but I was like lord like I literally have a little bit left of this video I was in the middle of the um what's in my ER nurse bag that video and I was like, oh my God, you got to be kidding me right now. And y'all know I'm on a time crunch. Like any other time, like if it was like a normal day, like, yeah, I would have been like, oh my gosh. But I would have been like, all right, whatever. I'm sure it'll come back on. But I'm literally looking at my phone like, when are these lights going to cut back on? Lord, please don't do this to me right now. But we got the video done. We got two videos done. Super happy. On my way to my lash appointment. It's 1150. I live about... 12 minutes away from my lash tech so we're doing good time and girl and when I come home my room is a mess so I need to just straighten up my room it's mainly because when I did the what's in my bag video of course as I was taking everything out I was just like putting it on my bed so it's really just a matter of putting everything back inside of the bag 
everything just straightening up because when I did my makeup this morning I made sure that I um, put things back in its place as I was doing my makeup so that's really good um, but yeah you guys I'm super happy it was a super productive day really happy and I work tonight and I have maybe from like 1 30 or two o'clock to chill before it's time for me to start getting ready for work but let me tell you guys I did forget to charge my camera battery so literally in the middle of me doing each video I had to stop put the next battery in because I only had like 15 minutes worth of battery it was horrible I forgot to put my camera battery on the charger last night that little montage of me getting ready like I said I really I don't really do anything special for work since I don't wear makeup to work it only takes me about you know 25 to 30 minutes to get ready just wash my face and brush my teeth and stuff like that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that little fun montage I'm all packed and ready to go I made my lunch I also made me some coffee quick little side note I like to drink all of my coffee like my full cup before I even get to work that way I already have my coffee in my system because what I notice is once you get in there um, especially at my hospital being in the emergency room sometimes when you get in there you don't even have a moment to sit down because you're constantly on go and your coffee will get all watery so I like to drink my coffee before I even get out the car that way I know I got my coffee in my system and it's a done deal the only time I don't do that is if you know like I run out of coffee but then I'll stop at Starbucks or something like that but I really really try to get my coffee in that way once I get to work I'm ready to work and I'm not like oh my gosh I didn't get any caffeine in or like my coffee's watered down or whatever the case may be but last night I had a really great night which I'm hoping we have the same tonight last night I had about four patients at a time I would fluctuate between four and three and the reason why is because we were getting a lot of beds we were getting beds super quick so what I mean by getting beds is when our patients come into the emergency room of course the doctors will decide whether or not the patient is going to be admitted and if they're going to go upstairs to a floor so when the doctor does decide that and they are officially admitted we have to wait for another department to assign them a room rooms last night were getting assigned pretty quickly which is good because it means I'm not sitting on patients some nights rooms aren't getting assigned as fast as last night and that's how you kind of build up to eight patients because the doctor wants to admit them but they have to sit in the emergency room because there's no room available for them upstairs so that's how you start to stack on patients so last night was really good for that reason because we had you know enough nurses one staffing was really good last night as well as our turnover rate for getting admitted beds 
chef's kiss so hopefully we have the same vibes tonight going in with a positive attitude as always i always try to start my shifts off walking in and literally saying it's going to be a great day because of course the attitude that you have walking into work or you know anywhere a test it matters a lot it really sets the tone for the night and <laughs> all of my co-workers laugh at me because the first thing i say like as i'm wiping down my computer is it's going to be a good night you have to put it in the atmosphere at least give it a shot you know of course every night is not the best night but at least i walked in with a positive attitude and then i walked out like i don't want to see this place no more and then i come back the next day um but yeah again hopefully we have a really good night tonight i'm claiming it and yeah this is shift two out of three for me my next shift is not until saturday because today's thursday july 28th so i'm off tomorrow and then i go back saturday night and bay's off tomorrow as well he's always off on friday so that's gonna be nice i'm gonna be able to spend some time with him and you know just relax since we're both off and get some maybe get some naps in get some food that's what we always do we always take naps and get food and stuff like that so but yeah maybe i'll check in with you guys later on my break you know come outside and just tell you guys how my night is going maybe i can you know pass some meds with you guys on camera if i get a slow corner you know a quiet corner i can maybe pick up the camera just talk to you guys a little bit but that's super hard being in the emergency room that's another thing about being in the emergency room there's someone in every single corner i feel like versus being on the floor or you know being like in labor delivery there's not someone in every single corner in the emergency room there's someone literally in every single corner there's always someone inside the medication room so you know sometimes it's just really hard to pick up the camera and show you guys things one without violating hipaa and two you know without really showing people my camera because as i mentioned i don't tell anyone that i do youtube it's just one of those things like if you find me on youtube or something like that that has happened to me before like i've come to work and someone has like noticed me like oh yeah i seen you on youtube last night like that's crazy that would have to happen but i'm i just don't go around and you know whip out my camera in front of people but i will say i did have a subscriber that i met and hey girl if you're watching this she could not believe it so quick story time i was going upstairs to transfer a patient my patient got admitted and they got a bed upstairs on my old side so i used to work in neuro step down on the fourth floor but this time i was going to the third floor I was transferring my patient upstairs, you know, and one of the nurse externs was already at the room, you know, before the nurse was. So she was just helping me set up. And I noticed she just she just kept looking at me. And I had a feeling I knew what it was. And I could tell she was a little timid. Like she wanted to say something, but she didn't want to be wrong. And she said it eventually. And she just kept looking at me. And she was like, I don't know why, but you look like one of my favorite youtubers and i literally i played along with it so good and i was like really what's her name i was like is her name dominique dooley and she was like yeah i was like girl it's me it was probably one of the most purest moments i've ever had meeting one of you guys she couldn't believe it and she just kept looking at me and i was like i know she's trying to put it together between you know like the mask and everything and actually being in my uniform and stuff like that so that was very sweet and you know i hugged her and stuff and we talked a little bit and she was like yeah i i thought it was you and i was like yeah girl i had to play along because it was too funny i was like what's her name but yeah, that I, that's something I will never forget. I literally like called my boyfriend on the way downstairs. I was like, babe, I met a subscriber. And like, it just made my heart so warm. But hey girl, if you're watching this, I'm on my way to work now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Like I said, hopefully get a chance to pick up the camera and just update you guys because I've already been talking for 12 minutes and I'm already halfway to work. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Hey you guys, so today is actually Monday, August the 1st. Happy August. Um, new month, new money, new blessings, new opportunities. I'm really excited to get to work this month and get back on track with a lot of things. 
and speaking of that as you guys can tell i am extending the vlog out to this week because with being a nurse and this is just something i've been thinking about um with being a nurse it's really hard to record things of course because i'm working and then when i get off work i'm tired and i may not be doing anything that day so i think it's best if i just have two weeks worth of footage and then put it into one video let me know what you guys think down below i know traditionally um, here on YouTube, we do weekly vlogs, but I am starting to learn to be more, um, what's the word, be more gentle with myself because sometimes like I'll get frustrated because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I worked and I wasn't able to pick up the camera or I didn't do anything this week. So as I always tell you guys, always do what's best for you. And I feel like this is something that's best for me. It's going to keep me more consistent here on YouTube, especially when it comes to vlogs. And then, of course, you guys will get normal sit-down content in between my vlogs. That is my plan. I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I think that's going to be what's best because... I go to work, get off, and then not all the time I'm doing something and either it's going to make the vlog shorter or it's not going to be as entertaining. And of course, I want you guys to come to my channel and be entertained because I love entertaining vlogs too. Not that you guys always have to see when I'm, you know, out and about. You guys also will see when I'm chilling around the house and stuff like that. But sometimes, girl, I be having like 10, 15 minutes worth of footage. Um, so... Again, let me know what you guys think down below. I'm taking my own advice and doing what's best for me, what I think will work, and we're just going to try it out and see how it goes. So today is Monday. I got off of work. I completed my three out of three, so I'm off for the next two days, and then I think I'm back for another two, and then I think I'm off like another three. I don't know, but I'm off for two days. I am about two schedule a session so i can go to the gym and do some cardio um i mentioned on my instagram that i started a new gym called hot works i got a ton of instagram dms asking me how i liked it and you know if you guys should join because i guess they're building one you know everywhere they're expanding so i like it i think i'm going to try the row machine they added row machines at hot works um in the last sauna if you guys don't even know what hot works is they're individual saunas and in each sauna there's like a session so there may be yoga in room one you have bands like you know um resistant bands in room two you have hot cycling they added rowing so i think i'm going to do 30 minutes of rowing and then probably do like another 30 minutes of cycling that way i get my cardio in for the day and then you know so i'm just trying to work on consistency i feel like that is my word of the month is consistency just finding what works best for me because i got a new job you know i'm still getting acclimated to being a nurse i've only been a nurse for almost five months um so i'm still trying to figure out what works best for me like i said with the vlogs i feel like having two weeks worth of footage is best and then i'm trying to figure out my workout schedule that's my little rant i've already been talking for seven minutes i just wanted to come on here and just sit down and talk to you guys for a minute i'm about to go ahead and schedule my cardio sessions i need to dump lily's litter box because her litter box just needs to be you know changed new litter everything like that and then also you guys my chair came in my last vlog i was talking to you guys about this section over here how i switched everything up i ordered a chair we're gonna put it together and fingers crossed i love it and then we're going to most likely move the printer back on my dresser that way i have an open area on the bottom desk part so that's the plan i'm probably going to pick up the camera once i get to hot works and just show you guys what it looks like in there like i said i get a lot of dms because they're expanding they're you know opening locations in a lot of cities and a lot of you are like girl i've seen like advertisements how do you like it 
I like it, but I think it's great for cardio. It's great for yoga um, and things like that because those are the sessions that they're offering. Now, unless you have like a trainer or you want to work out in the little workout section because they do have a separate section that's just weights. If you want to work out over there, then you're good to go with just hot works. But I really, really miss weightlifting and I remember I used to be like girls weightlifting like what but when I was with my personal trainer and I was weightlifting for like a solid three to four months I really 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 saw the difference you know just in my arms I saw the difference in my legs like I was getting toned so your girl gotta get back right okay let, let me go let me go I'll, I'll talk to you after JK, I found him. Y'all thought I didn't have my headphones. And I try to keep these in the car because they're my gym headphones. And not all the time I take like my gym bag with me. So I just keep them like in the car. They're um, these little beats. I don't know the specific name. I'll have them linked down below. I love them. They're loud. Um, they do wrap around your neck so you don't have any like wires, you know, hanging down. And I like them better than my AirPods because they actually stick in my ear. AirPods tend to fall out whenever I'm working out, so I really, really like these. I got them in a two-pack. So, uh, yeah, I'll have them linked down below. But these are my gym headphones. And like I said, they're just some beats. Super loud. They charge, like, with a USB-C. They last a really long time. Like, I think I've only charged these up, like twice maybe three times since i've had them and i had them for like maybe four or five months now maybe six months so the battery lasts a very long time then again i only use them for about an hour at the gym you know about three times a week so i have them listed down below if you're interested but i'm on my way to hot works my session starts at six it's 5 38 takes me about 10 minutes to get the hot works I am going to stop though at the gas station and just grab a Celsius because I have not picked up my usual like pack of Celsius which is driving me insane because I'm buying them individually and like for instance when I go to work I drink Celsius so I'm literally buying like one at a time. I need to just go ahead and purchase my bulk from Costco like I normally do or just order them online so I'm gonna stop at the gas station really quick pick up a Celsius and then we're off to hot works
I don't know if you guys can hear me, but starting the next section, last one, and we're out of here. We got one hour of cardio done, so. You told me calm is a thing You had a lot of delusions Decided I was the blame Got mad when we went our separate ways Wreaked havoc Your ego was way too hard You look shattered I almost cut my finger on your sharp edges Forget the lies you told I hope you feel better I didn't leave because you stopped me I just pressed play I bet you choose to stay And the past to say Hey y'all, so it's the next day. The last time that I spoke to y'all, it was yesterday. It was Monday. Today's Tuesday, August the 2nd. So I wanted to tell you guys that mask that I tried yesterday, the Verse mask, I finally got my hands on it because I saw all of the girls talking about it on TikTok and YouTube. I got my hands on it like last month and then I finally tried it last night. <laughs> Um, and I see what everyone's talking about. It's really, really good, and it's a great price. It's only like $17, but it's a resurfacing mask that like helps with texture, and I definitely saw the difference when I wiped it off. My skin was so smooth, so glad that I finally tried it two months after finally getting my hands on it. But as you guys can see, I'm on my way to the pool, but we're doing a pool day at G's house, Gianna. I don't know if you guys ever met Gianna, like officially. I think you guys have seen her in my vlog before, but um, she's one of the girlies that I went to nursing school with. Also, Kelsey's going to be there. Y'all know Kelsey. Jackie will also be there. Jackie is Kelsey's co-worker, which I met like once or twice. Super sweet girl. Um, so yeah, we're having a pool day at Gianna's. It's 325. I got out of the house later than I expected. I was up watching P-Valley until like 3 a.m. So I got up super late this morning. Um, but it's okay. It's my day off. We're going with the flow. No one's even made it to G's house yet, so I don't feel too bad. I know Kelsey just said she was leaving, but I just um, got out of Target. I went to Target to pick up a few things. I got some pineapples for everyone. I just got like, you know, some things that we can all snack on. And Gianna said she picked up some stuff. Kelsey picked up half a Target this morning. Um, so I just picked up some fruit. I got some pineapples, some mangoes, and then y'all know I got me some Prosecco. This is my stuff, girl. I like to make mimosas, and of course, to make the mimosa, you need orange juice. So that's all that I picked up. Gianna said she literally grabbed everything. So did Kelsey. Kelsey got like beer and stuff, but I'm not a beer drinker. I don't like the way beer tastes. I've tried so many beers, and I was thinking maybe it's just like the brand of beer that I'm trying but no I think it's just beer in general that I don't like so I went ahead and picked up some Prosecco and of course if the girlies want some they're welcome to it I know Gianna says she had wine for herself and I think Kelsey picked up some white claws for Jackie so I'm about 20 minutes out I just stopped at the Target right here by my house it's like literally on the way to Gianna's house. I've never been to Gianna's house before. So, but I'm really excited to see my girls. I was literally texting them that in the group chat last night. I was like, I'm so excited to see y'all. I haven't seen y'all since nursing school. It's been crazy. Well, I think I did see everyone once, but. Boulevard. I think I did see everyone once, but it wasn't, you know, like this. I think we went out for Kelsey's birthday. Um, 
so we didn't like you know sit around and chit chat and stuff so it's gonna be good to catch up talk about work because we don't work at, we don't all work at the same hospital so y'all know we're gonna get together cry maybe over becoming new nurses um, but yeah i'll talk to you guys once we get there and i did not go and target like this i brought a change of clothes because of course if i'm getting in a pool i'm gonna be wet so i just put the change of clothes on first and then i went inside of target and then i switched like i took my top off and put my swimsuit cover up on i didn't go and target like this <laughs> But I'll see y'all when I get there. complete and I'm so happy with the results I mentioned in my last vlog that I picked this desk up from Crate and Barrel um, and I was looking for a chair however it was a little hard to find a chair for this desk because it is on the shorter side but I found one it works it's cute and it fits most of all so I'm really excited um, also in my last vlog I mentioned that I'm thinking about moving my printer back over here that way I can get an iMac and I'll have like an actual workstation that way I can you know sit and do homework and edit videos and things like that instead of using my laptop so I'm just really excited because this this corner has finally come together the last piece of the puzzle is my iMac so I'm really excited and again I'll have this chair listed down below in case you are interested they do have other colors um, they have like this really cute beige I wish my room was in that color scheme I would have definitely gotten it but the black is super cute it is like a velvety color and it's super comfortable you guys and like I said, this desk is really short, so this chair is at its highest like level, so it does get shorter, which I will, of course, make it shorter when I sit down to work. That way my legs will fit under the desk. But when I'm not working, I plan to have it, you know, like this at its highest. That way the back can go over the desk like that, and it just fits so nice. So really excited i just keep saying that because y'all i'm finally getting this corner together oh my gosh finally i should have put you somewhere when no one could find you mansion out in the sticks with nothing around you katie texas dallas texas you know a different environment you got desires i know i know you got desires i know i know Self-control is never being a thing Don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a lot Where I'm from, they start to sow the things You come from a city where there's things with a lot How the fuck you keep so many seeds? 
Hey you guys, so I don't know when the last time that I picked up the camera, but today is Sunday, August the 7th, and as you guys just saw, I just finished doing a quick Sunday reset by cleaning my room, washing my sheets, and all of that good stuff, so yeah, yesterday I didn't pick up the camera, but yesterday was my best friend's son's first birthday. To me, that is my nephew, although she's not my sister, but she's like a sister to me, so yesterday um was my nephew's first birthday so they came over you know and picked up his gift because myself and my mom got him some stuff and then he also splashed around the pool which was really cute to see because it was his first time getting in water so that was really cute but that's what I did yesterday and then yeah like I said today I just did a quick Sunday reset by cleaning my room um, usually the housekeeper cleans my room but this week she came on a day that you know I was getting off work in the morning and I was like girl don't even worry about it because your girl is tired I'm going to bed um, so I had to clean my own room this week but I actually love cleaning my own room of course because it gets done how you want it done and then also it's super therapeutic when you turn on some music and you just vibe so yeah but my room is clean um sheets are clean all that good stuff i was gonna go to starbucks and edit this week's video i, I told you guys this month's word for me is consistency so i want to get at least one video out to you all every week whether it's a vlog or it's a sit down video so this week i'm going to be uploading my like five quick tips for my new grad nurses out there i've been a nurse going on almost six months now so i've you know picked up on a few things and i just wanted to share some tips to my girlies who's new to the game you know so i'm gonna edit that and then while it's uploading i'm gonna catch up on youtube myself because usually youtubers upload on sunday so i know i'm gonna have a few videos to watch also p valley comes on tonight girl so yes i'm gonna watch p valley and i'm gonna just chill out hopefully i see bay tonight i know he was taking a nap so I'm sure by the time I finish everything, he'll be up and maybe he'll come over or I'll go over there. But yeah, that's all I'm doing today. Quick update as far as mentoring. All my girlies have been DMing me and commenting down below and I respond to as many of you as I can. But I know sometimes it's just like impossible. So I was like, you know, let me go ahead and mention this in the video. I am still hosting mentoring services. I'm just ironing out a few last minute details and it's actually going to be posted at the end of this month. So if you are interested in mentoring, so tutoring for myself then definitely stay tuned because spots will be limited of course it's only one of me so I'm not going to be able to take everyone because I want my mentoring and tutoring of course to be very one-on-one -on -one, very personal to the point where you can call me or text me 24 7 and I'm available and that's going to be a little hard if I take a lot of people so that's why I only want it to be a small amount of people so in saying that make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you're also following me on Instagram because once it's finished of course I'm gonna post it for you guys and it's really gonna be first come first serve so make sure you are following me because as soon as it's done I'm gonna go ahead and post it for you guys and then I'm gonna have you know a sign up period um, but yeah, that's all of my mentoring services, mentoring slash tutoring. So just make sure, you know, you're subscribed and just watch out for like the little community tab here on YouTube because I'm going to post it there. I'm going to make a whole video for it. I know like a quick two minute video here on YouTube telling you guys that it's open. And then I'm going to also mention the details of what's included during the tutoring and the mentoring. And then, of course, I'll post a flyer on Instagram and Twitter as well. So just make sure you stay tuned because it's not going to be as many spots open as you guys may think. But, um, yeah, that's it. I'm done talking because I've already been talking for seven minutes. Um, I will see you guys in next week's video. I need to go ahead and get to work because... Yeah, I got to get a video up for you guys this week. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one.